This is Mississauga Music on CFRERadio.com, 91.9 FM. If you're in town, this is Demetrius and your host, Chris Wolf. At you once again. Now, those two PSAs were random. We always play the PSAs before the show. And usually they're, they're with drunk driving or... Kids helpline, something... Stay in school, something relevant. But we've had some uh, grisly conservation here this week for Mississauga. I don't know how relevant that is, but it's for a good cause. Grizzly right? bears, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you've been <laughs> called a bear a few times in your life. <laughs> Not to my face. No, no, no. <laughs> no like, 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 a, <laughs> like a cuddly, like, you know, lovable, you know. We well, can ask D- Jen when t- you get Tell there. us how you really feel, Demetrius. Oh. <laughs> okay, so um, welcome, everybody, that's listening in. We've got a great episode for you. I, I don't know what's going to happen dur- during today's episode, but I have some... Uh, we, we have in studio today, joining us live, our Artist of the Month, the Identity Crisis. So we, I have some random questions for him, and uh, hopefully he'll be random back, and he's going to perform, and we're going to play songs. So it's going to be a good time, so stay tuned. You're back on Mississauga Music Radio on CFRE.com, 91.9 FM. If you're in Mississauga, joining in studio CFREradio.com or on. No, no, no. I already said that. Yeah, it's but you got it wrong. In studio. You, you flipped what it. You flipped it. What did, I, what did I say? You said radiocfre.com. Did I? Yeah. Radio CFRE. Wow. Yeah. CFREradio.com wow. or 91.9. We spent, we spent an hour, almost two hours this morning talking, <clears> planning <throat> with our partner, um, planning about. I mean, planning for the Mississauga Music Expo that's happening in September. So I think my brain is... Chris and I got into a fist fight during the meeting, which was always great. But, I mean, you know, it's progress. So is there some whiskey in the coffee? There, oh, no. Second cup doesn't do that for you. Oh. What coffee shop do you go to? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, back to my point, joining us in the studio is the Identity Crisis. Now... Gentlemen, thanks for having me. Pleasure. Thank you for being here. Pleasure. Um... Now, do we refer to you as the identity crisis? Do we refer to you as Paul or identity? Pa- or Paul crisis? is cool. Paul crisis? is cool. No? Paul is cool. Okay, Paul. Cri- crisis, uh, <laughs> that sounds kind of funny. Paul, so right off the bat, you know, who are you? I what, what, am. Do you even know? I, yeah, you know what? I'm struggling with it still. Yeah, you know, so it's, it's, it's been a, a it's been I a. Think it's gonna be a constant struggle. Yeah, it's well, as it's been long a, as your identity crisis. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a ten year struggle so far. <laughs> cool. Um, so tell us for 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 all of all the people listening online or at home, who are you and where you're based out of? And uh, cool. Yeah, I am a local, homegrown uh, recording artist, rapper, singer, producer from Mississauga. Born and raised, um, I have three solo albums out, and um, I'm also here to promote a little project I just put out with uh, a gentleman by the name of King George from Nashville by way of, uh, actually by from Orlando by way of Nashville. And um, yeah, I uh, I've been kind of working working my craft for the last ten years. My first album dropped ten years ago this uh, this March. Wow. Happy yeah. anniversary. Yeah. Decade of verse. A, a decade of decaversary. Yeah. Decaniversary. I'm not what? even going to try this <laughs> one. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> we have to get out of that one fast. So, yeah, 10 years, well, 10 plus years in the game. Yeah. Um, do you feel uh, weathered? Jaded? I do. You know, you know, it's funny. Um, I, uh, I, I was on um, nighttime. Yesterday, yes. with Arlene Pakulin. Okay. Shout out to Arlene Pakulin. Hey, hey. And I met uh, I met some young, up and coming artists uh, there, and they were uh, close to ten years younger. Right. And it, the age shows, man. The age feels. You can feel. Um, I, yeah, weathered is definitely a word I would yeah. use to describe myself these days. Yeah, just like that Creed song. No. With arms wide open. Yeah, he no. did. He did the motion right <laughs> yeah. there. Did you notice? Yeah, it? but. <laughs> the album after they had the lead single was called Weather, and it's one of the best songs. Oh, I'm I not mean, familiar with I it. Know people don't like Creed, but yeah, you know what's funny about Creed? They're, they're like multi-platinum, but I can't name one person that owns an album. Oh, Demetrius. Now. Dem- okay, I, I've met one. I I know all of them. Wow. Well, there's three. 
Anyway. There you go. Creed. <laughs> uh, back to you. Now, l- I just want to get this out of the way before we get into more, more about you. But uh, when you posted the image, the promo image for the show, one of the hashtags included egg salad. Yeah. Now, did you want to talk about egg salad particularly? Is that something you had for lunch today or... I just wanted to I think it was I was actually digging. I had a I had a forkful while I was hashtagging. Oh, and that's okay. kind of, you know, it's okay. what I was you know, I sometimes I, I I you know, I go stream of consciousness, but I just go based on what's around me sometimes and that's that if it's explains it. Yeah. Keep it topical. Pardon? So keep it topical. Yeah. Yeah, no, I was I was wondering what why the hashtag and, and who knows? Who knows who will discover you? Yeah. Um the internet works in mysterious ways. Yeah, no it doubt. It used to be God works in anyway. Uh, <laughs> And who knows if somebody's clicking on the egg roll hashtag and they find you and they're like, wow, that's my favorite new artist ever. No, there you go. That cool. might work. So you briefly mentioned um, your collaboration with King George. Now, before we get to that, let's just play your new single, Wait For Me. Okay. Um, the video also premiered on our website, MissagaMusic.com, and it got some traction online. It just came out, a f- what, was it two weeks ago? <laughs> No, uh, the album, the, 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 the video, the video just dropped. It premiered yeah. on Mississauga music.com. Mississauga music.com. <laughs> That's right. Thank you. With your radio <laughs> voice. Um, here's the track. Check it out. The grizzly bear is an iconic <laughs> symbol of the American West. As many as 50,000 once now. roamed the western that half happens. of the United <laughs> States, <laughs> south of because Canada. No Today, their numbers have This should just be our new uh, talking over track. <laughs> like, just play this in our, the background. Were grizzlies to survive, the end, they must be able to travel safely. Music. This is actually my song. I don't know who you're talking about. Oh, so sorry. This is uh, the uh, single. We love it. areas are being lost to develop. The Vital Ground Foundation is working to ensure the future of the majestic grizzly. By conserving strategically located Not stop wildlife <laughs> habitat. There we go. Every night in a different city, burning in the spotlight. Wishing that I could share this moment with you in candlelight. Couple more weeks and I'll be there by your side and holding you tight. Didn't think that it would be this hard when I signed on the dotted line. Permanently vertigo as I go from show to show. This is life up on the road. I've got so far to go Guess I've got to pay the toll As I run towards the goal Trying to keep a heart of gold But it's getting hard to hold The light is engulfing me As far as the eye can see The monster devours me It spits me out All I've got is memories You're my only remedy The monster devours me And spits me out I'm wrestling with snakes, and I'm the underdog that raises stakes to contemplate how much I'm trying to skip the field of rock and roll cliche. Not gonna take the bait because I long for your embrace, and it's a race until I see you face to face because you're worth the wait. And go. Every night in a different city, burning in the spotlight, wishing that I could share this moment with you in candlelight. Couple more weeks, and I'll be there by your side.
Blossom. That was a new single from Identity Crisis and King George. Now, do you want to tell us a little bit about this latest EP and the collaboration, how that came to be? Because I, I read that, you know, he's a Grammy-nominated producer and he's worked with some of the bands I grew up listening to, like DC Talk and uh, what was the other one? Somebody else. Toby Mac. List. Toby Mac, of yeah. course, yeah. And um, so that's really cool. How did you find him? How did you decide to collaborate? And Here, yeah. Here's the beauty of the internet. Um, remember a website called MySpace? No. No. <laughs> yeah, of course oh I Oh my did. gosh, yeah, yeah, MySpace was... Man, that was, I was addicted to MySpace. Like, yeah, like, so I was on there for hours on end. And, um, it was cool because it was kind of the first platform of its kind where you could actually reach out to artists, you know what I mean? And reach out to people, actors, actresses, and that kind of thing. And you could, they would actually respond, Mm -hmm. which was kind of cool. I feel like it's, it's not like that anymore. People, you know, people have clammed up. Exactly. So, um, I reached out to him. Um, and I was just like, hey, man, I'm a fan of what you do. Check out my music. Maybe we can work on some stuff to pitch to. I wanted to pitch for uh, for like a Toby record or uh, yeah. one of the other projects he was working on. And um, and uh, it kind of just went from there. He started throwing me some ideas. I'd throw him some beats. Yeah. And then uh, he would um, he would just give me some melody ideas and see right. if we could come up with something. And then, so we started working on stuff to pitch. I, again, it was primarily with the focus of pitching to other artists and uh, TV and film placements. Like he was telling me about stuff he got landed. He got something landed in um, in the game plan. I don't know if you saw that movie. It's, no. it's a Disney production, but okay. it was it, The Rock, isn't it? It's like oh. a football movie, I think. Okay, cool. And he was telling me the kind of numbers that the, the kind of money you make right, from like if that. you get a placement in a movie you actually get more for a uh, for a trailer huh. surprisingly because I, I didn't think that but with a trailer it reaches more people so right. the budget's actually yeah. higher so that was kind of it was it was kind of not driven by money but it was like it was like looking for new opportunities to kind of get music out and yeah. uh, and, and work on uh, just you know working working on on making your craft better and so um, we we had like a bunch of stuff, and this is ten years ago probably right. that we started, and it wasn't At the end of the MySpace er- MySpace era. Yeah. Oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, because Facebook's been strong for ten years at this point, yeah. right? So yeah, exactly. So we uh, it's funny because uh, he he pitched me the melody idea for Wait for Me. Okay. And uh, we were originally gonna try to pitch that, and then um, he and. I threw it together. I actually made the beat and the and I wrote the lyrics for that. And um, when uh, at the end of it, we were like, "Okay, we've got something here." And the fact that it wasn't getting picked up was really like bothering us. Right. So we were like, "We gotta, we gotta put it out because it's not. I don't want to. I don't want to just have it pop up on my iTunes playlist, right. just randomly." And be like, oh, well, we could have done something with this. You yeah, know what I mean? It's hard to sit on a song that you feel strongly about. Yeah. That you've put years into and think that has potential. Yeah. But, yeah, but, you know, sometimes you just have to put it out for people to discover it. Yeah, yeah, no doubt, no yeah. doubt. So that was kind of, we, we decided, okay, let's put out an EP. And that the EP became the vehicle to get this song out primarily. Okay. So here it is. And I, I feel like we're sitting on a good, solid batch of songs. Awesome. And that I'm happy with, so. Cool. Well, we're going to take a quick break and play some Euphoria. Yeah, Euphoria, my boys. Yeah, so they're, they're your boys. And uh, this is a track that they released not too long ago. There's a cool video for this online. Fight or Flight? Yeah, Fight yeah. or Flight. And it was on a bunch of uh, mainstream rock radio stations as well, like Hits FM, Loud and St. Catherine. So awesome for a local band to do some cool things. In the country. Right on. Fight or flight by Euphoria.
for you. Music. On, go for it. <laughs> You're just waiting. I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna mess it up now. Uh, <laughs> We're watching. Hurry up. <laughs> Don't rehearse it. Go uh, CFRE radio.com. Did wow. I get that right? And uh, 91.9 FM. We've there only you been go. doing this for, what, 10 months now? <laughs> Is this is our thirty. Yeah, we're in January. Thirty eighth episode. We started last March, right? Yeah. Yeah. So ten, yeah, ten months more or less. Um, we should know the extension. Good. Th- good thing I didn't say like musicmasaga.com. <laughs> that would be a real shame, right? Because <laughs> I booked that domain. I bought that domain. Um, so, in studio, we've been talking to radio voice extraordinaire, <laughs> the Identity Crisis, aka Paul. Yes, sir. Um, and uh, wanted to ask you a little bit about some of the other work you've done over your last ten years in the industry, um, namely, you know, people like Lily Tin and Finger Eleven and Theory of a Dead Man. Yeah. Um, RZA, RZA from right, Wu Tang Clan. Of course, can't forget Wu Tang. My um, my ex wife is a huge fan of Wu Tang. Yeah, so I right try on. To avoid that name. <laughs> oh, just sorry. kidding. Just kidding. There's also a poster listening. right back here. Rear. Right. Yeah. Is that you in the back? No, no I wish. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you took the picture. Right? <laughs> That's what you did. So yeah, tell us a little bit about your involvement in some of the some of these other projects, and yeah, would, lo- would love to know what else you're about. Cool. Yeah. Well, as a producer, I've been I've been pretty blessed to um, with some great opportunities, um, namely the the Lily Singh project. Uh, Superwoman is huge right now. She's yeah, yeah. and she's a multi uh, multimedia mogul, mm-hmm. right? I mean, starting on YouTube and and she's just kind of dominating. She she was in like a, a pretty big budget movie last year, yeah. and um, and she's doing music and doing yeah. all kinds of things. So it was really cool to be able to to um, to get to collaborate with her. So I actually produced, uh, I co-produced and uh, and composed some tracks for one of her last music videos that came out called Voices. Okay, very cool. So I, um, yeah, I worked with another producer uh, named Ali uh, from the Durani Brothers. Shout out to Durani Brothers. Um, and uh, yeah, she's she's such a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? She's, she's pretty much like a shooting star. So it's kind of like, it's yeah. cool to get any trickle from that. And yeah. she, like, she, you know, she posted, you know, she credited me, and I got, like, a bunch of subscribers on YouTube just from that, you know? Like, wow. so it's kind of cool to, it's, um, anytime you can be a part of something big like that, I say take it, you know? No, of course. So. And, I mean, I'm a fan just because based on the fact alone that she's brown and she makes fun of brown people, I'm yeah. in, you there know? You I'm already <laughs> sold. I mean, for those of you that don't know me, I'm brown, so this is okay. <laughs> this is not, you know... <laughs> this is all PC. Very good. I have the brown pass. <laughs> the brass? What? The brass, right? The brown pass? Oh, the, the brass. brass. Yeah. Okay. I thought you said something else. <laughs> Although the brown pass itself doesn't sound right. But um, <laughs> <laughs> um, what about some of the other stuff? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So with the same producer, um, I worked on some stuff with um, uh, the guys from Theory of a Dead Man. Uh, and... Um, and RZA, actually, that's all on the same project. Cool. So it was kind of cool to, to get to work with one of uh, the most influential producers of my, like, in my, like, on, my, on me personally. Yeah. RZA, like, that f- the first two Wu-Tang records are two of my still all-time. Yeah yeah, 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 it definitely helped. Yeah, you know no, what I mean? I, I have people, like my ex-wife, tell me that all the time. <laughs> just because she's, like, a huge fan. Like, oh, yeah? It's so much of a fan that I got her a Wu-Tang sweater oh wow this past christmas I wow yeah. right on you should go pick one up They're yeah urban, urban outfitters oh yeah and they have they have them at uh, h&m too so oh, do they? oh <laughs> there you go you probably have one yeah um is it correct me if i'm wrong is it true that reza has a toronto office and he's in toronto often i know he's in toronto often i'm not sure about the office i know raekwon has an office oh, um you might, might be thinking raekwon maybe yeah just because a guy that i used to work with like the next to um, just like his office space, his dad called him one day, s- and his dad is a real estate agent, and he was saying, and he was telling his son how he was out with one of the Wu Tangs, <laughs> looking for <laughs> uh, helping him find an office space. This was like I think eight years ago. Oh so, yeah, yeah. Um, that that's, that's cool. probably Raekwon. Okay. Yeah, but I know I know Riz is up here a lot. Method Man's up here a lot too. So, uh, could be any of those guys. Very cool. 
That's awesome. You have been blessed. I have been. It's yeah, I can't complain. Cool. So we are going to um, listen to some country. How do you feel about country? Country's cool. I like old school country. Old like school country, like country like Johnny Cash. And okay, okay. Yeah. You're a purist. I wouldn't call myself a purist, <laughs> yeah. but I, I like. I mean, I like. I like some new stuff. I like Keith Urban. He's dope. Oh, Keith Urban's playing yeah. uh, Boots and Hearts this year. Oh, he is right on. Yeah. Dope. Yeah, Boots and Hearts is one of the one of the um, festivals that sponsor us and give us some prizes. So hopefully <laughs> we'll give you give, not you, but we'll give our listeners some. Uh, right well, on. Could be, yeah, if yeah, you yeah. Participate in the contest. Maybe you'll win. Right on. Last year, right on. actually, funny enough that we we're talking about Alyssa Cole and Country and Boots and Hearts. Last year, Alyssa Cole won two weekend passes to Boots and Hearts from us. Nice. So. Um, that was great. Hopefully, uh, this year will be good too. Keith Urban's Keith Urban is actually what really um, brought me back to country. Okay. Like I listened to country as a kid, but right. then I had like a phase of hair metal and new metal and all that stuff that people don't talk about anymore. Quit the um, spectrum. <laughs> yeah, and then and then I heard Keith Urban after a long time. I was like, wow, this is so good. It's like new country. Right. Most of these guys look like rock stars anyway. Yeah. So it, the transition wasn't that big of a. Anyway. Here's some Alicia Cole. When we come back, we're going to hear that in crisis. Sorry, Paul. <laughs> either works, right? Yeah. Um, play us some songs. Cool. Sounds Looking good. forward to it. That was Alicia Cole. Oh, now it ends. Um, Alicia Cole has a new single called Talk to Me, which is out on radio, on mainstream country radio right now, which we didn't play for you, by the way, but that song, Sunday Shoes, is available on the Misaga Music Mixtape Volume 1 that you can find all over the city. It's also available on misagamusic.com for a free download. So check that out when you get a chance. A little bit of a shout out to all our partners. What do we have going on? What's left on our top 10, Chris Wolf? The only thing left in our top 10 for this month is Matt Zaddy's open mic on Tuesday at Kekullen's. Awesome. Matt Zaddy's open mic jam night, Kekullen's, every Tuesdays. Now, starting next month, most likely our artist or band of the month is going to play um, during that very month at one of his jam nights. So that's always exciting. Um, next week, we'll have for you our brand new artist, band, or duo of the month. So stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, yes. A- and a new top 10. And a new top 10, which should be jam packed with action. February seems like it's a lot happening. It does. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll have 10 things to announce. Wow, that's uh, except for as opposed to the one. I, I see what I yeah. see that I understand that joke now. Um, <laughs> but uh, w- typically, we thought that January, February, March, April would be slow. Would be pretty slow, yeah. But no, like somebody said on the ad for our last top ten, the saga be popping. Yeah, and, and like I said, moving to the top ten, I think we have more flexibility to show that there's a lot going on when we were doing three a week. Yeah, like there's weeks where there's 15 things happening and then the yes. next two weeks there's nothing so correct um we should also give a shout out to rock and docs which is another uh which is a, which is actually a long-running port credit venue that's been around for how many years 200 a, a long time it's arguably <laughs> mississauga's <laughs> only i don't want to say only venue but i mean for that kind of yeah, it's, it's, it's always like a great that. time yeah. there. So uh, they're w- one of the new businesses that are advertising on our website. So um, it's a good spot. Pardon? It's a good spot. Yeah, do you frequent uh, the Rock yeah. Docks from time to time? Great. Yeah, I do. Next time we should go with you. All right, let's so do yeah, that. Call it a call it a night. Are, we, are you guys old enough? It's twenty five plus to get in. Is it twenty five? Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I now I understand your joke too. I'm a little slow <laughs> today, but yeah, it's like thirty plus. Anyway. Sure, there was no whiskey in your coffee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, so, so thanks to them for supporting our vision and our cause. We are very excited for them and the guitar shop on Port Credit to sort of start partnering with us. Speaking of partnerships, we are forging some great um, opportunities with the Missouri Arts Council, with uh, TorontoJobs.ca, as well as the Living Arts Center. Hopefully, in the in the coming year, and we'll be making some bigger moves. Last year was warm up for us, and this year we're hoping to do a lot more. So we're very excited about those opportunities. We can't announce anything yet, but um, always listen to our show and uh, check out thesoundmusic.com and uh, be up to date on our socials, and you'll be the first one to know. Um, anything else to cover? Oh, contests. 
we have a big one coming up with the Song of Symphony Orchestra. They're going to give us something really cool for Valentine's Day coming up. Chris Wolf. Very cool. Yeah. <laughs> Valentine's Day is coming up. And uh, <laughs> I feel like you're reminding me so I don't get into trouble. That Yeah, that is what I'm doing. Um, I and believe then that's February 11th. Yeah. Uh, yeah, February 11th. Don't forget. <laughs> and... <laughs> Um, and also, we're going to have some sweet gift cards to give away from Dunkin' Dip. Now, two locations in Mississauga. Where's the second? Oh, on... The second uh, one's around the corner from my place. On uh, yet. Burnham Thorpe, right? On Burnham Thorpe, yeah. yes. And the other one's on Port Credit as well. Um, who knows? I might snag one of those gift cards for myself. <laughs> that wouldn't be fair, would it? We can't do that. No. That's not right. Anyway, so thank you for all of these business and partners for coming on board with what it is that we're trying to do. Now, back to Paul. Thank you for being here with us. Thank you so much for, for it's been a good month. It's been, a, it's been a great yeah. ride. Thank you so much. Congratulations on the release of your EP and your videos. Video. Yeah, videos. And, um, <laughs> videos. Appreciate it, yeah. And uh, yeah, and we look forward to doing more stuff with you. I mean, usually um, getting getting artists on our, ra on our um, radio show and on our website is the first step. And then there's, you know, things that we're working on that we, you know, always want our artists to be a part of. So absolutely you'll be hearing from us in the coming months for sure. Awesome. Um, but uh, do you want to promote anything else you have coming up in the next little while? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, first of all, A Dark Light Volume 1 is available on iTunes, Spotify, Apple Music. You can get it wherever you... HMV is closing, unfortunately, so... Sucks. Yeah, how bad is that? I don't know. Do I have to go to Walmart now? Apparently, and Walmart always gets their stuff late too. So, so and censored. Oh yeah, censored. That too. Yeah. <laughs> always uh, radio edits of everything you yeah. buy at Walmart. Absolutely. Oh wow. Well, I think some some records have the parental guidance on it, but I know in the states it's pretty. Yeah. Yeah. So if I were to order in a CD, like sometimes you know they don't have it in stock and right. I order it in, where would I go now, guys? Man, you'd have to stick with Amazon. Yeah, yeah, everything's going to be online, unfortunately. So or support a local yeah, record shop like that. Rick's down in uh, Port Credit or like, what, Rotate This? Yeah, Rotate This. I guess Sunrise is still open, too. Are there? Yeah. I thought yeah. Sunrise went down a long there's time ago. There's very few. Uh, they're, they're sparse, but there's a, there's a there's couple like left. Few. Yeah. And so that's unfortunate. So basically, it's going to take me three months to get anything. Yeah. Around. Yeah, no kidding. Well, Amazon's pretty good. Or I mean, there's this wonderful new technology called streaming. Yeah. No, I mean I have the Spotify right here, but there's something I am. You know, I I'm I'm a liner note junkie. I need to know who's playing, well. who's I need who's to producing. Open up the thing. I'm old school like that. I mean. I love the smell of the ink. I love the smell. Well, I don't know about that detail. Oh, I'm yeah. I'm, I I'm start like I said. My records, so like I said, I'm a junkie. Oh, have the smell of vinyl. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, vinyl gosh. is a different story. Oh and, yeah. And also, I like to put it in the car, and. Like just putting your CD in the car stereo system and cranking it when you're on the highway or whatever. That's that sound when it's in a small. I don't know. I just nothing beats that. Yeah, I mean. I'm with you, man. I'm with you. We're we're the last of a dying breed, I believe. Yeah, so. we're, we're gonna die soon. Yeah. Well, I'm with you. I'm I'm ready. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. And where can we find you online? So uh, again, that record's available on iTunes. Uh, my website, my my solo website is theidentitycrisis.com. You can find me on Facebook, uh, facebook.com slash the Identity Crisis fan page. On Twitter, I'm at the IDC. On YouTube, you can subscribe to me, uh, slash the IDC. And on Instagram, I'm at the Identity Crisis. And Snapchat, too, at the Identity Crisis. All right. We'll hook yeah. all that up. And before you start playing your two tunes, yes, sir. I've got to ask you do you think Cowboy is winning tonight? I'm with Cerrone. He's he's got five in a row, right? Five wins in a row. Right. Yeah, I'm with him. And if he wins, I think he gets a title shot. So he's undefeated welterweight. He is. How crazy is that? He went up from that's 155. Crazy. That's that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. looking forward. Like his last fight with that combination, the I think the jab, cross, hook, and then kick. Oh my and gosh. Landed on who was it? I don't remember who he fought last. It I don't just, remember. It's like highlight, but yeah. like th it was like the perfect combination with like four in a row. Yeah. Anyway, sorry to uh, keep you out of the loop here, Chris Wolf, <laughs> but uh, that's all right. But I'm into MMA and Paul is into MMA, so Love I thought it. I would just. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen a UFC fight. Never. Really? Oh sorry. wow. Chris Wolf. I on my bachelor party we watched the uh, 
um, CM Punk fight. Oh. All 30 seconds. <laughs> oh, wow. What, what a one to get in on. <laughs> yeah. Next time uh, my girlfriend goes to the UFC gym um, at Square One, and when it comes to the big fights, they always show it. At the, the, have you been to one of those? No. Okay. I'll invite both of you guys out. Cool. Like, I've gone in the past. I go to the bigger ones, like the McGregor ones or yeah. whatever, and they have, like, Free drinks, free popcorn. You go at the UFC gym, and yeah, I mean, you have to know a member. Right. Um, My sister is about to start teaching there, I believe. So. Well, there you go. There you we'll go. All meet up, and you. It's it, there's something about watching a UFC fight at a UFC gym. Well, it's as an experience. It's right? like any sport, right? You have to be around other fans, and yeah, like the uh, the atmosphere kind of sets yeah. it for you. Have you, uh, Paul? Have you been to a UFC fight? Yes, I went to the very first Toronto card. Randy oh, Couture's wow. Randy Randy Couture's last fight. I needed to be there, win wow. or lose. It was it was very cool very atmosphere. Cool. I went to the last one with uh, Joel Martin. Oh, right yeah. on. Um, in Toronto, and it was my first one, and it was uh, it was great. Who experience. was on that? Who was headlining that? Uh, it was supposed to be Cormier and uh, Johnson. Yeah, Johnson. Yeah, I remember. That dropped out, so you know what? Oh, I, that ended up being a crazy card it too. It was a crazy card. It was fantastic. Like. On paper, it was okay, yeah. but the fights were fantastic. And sorry again, Chris Wolf, but we'll wrap this up any minute <laughs> now. But uh, what was uh, was crazy because when the fights were going on, it was pin drop silence. I couldn't hear Joe Rogan. Right. I had a little bit. Yeah, of that's a, weird, right? Yeah, it was weird, but um, yeah, I would go again. Th- there's a, there's one coming up in March, I believe, in Buffalo. Yeah. Which is the Cormier yeah and uh, Johnson Johnson again. Yeah, and so. I believe um, Weidman is fighting. Right. Uh, Weidman's on that card too. Uh, so. He's fighting that uh, European guy. Is it Masvidal? No, no. not Masvidal. Uh, forget his name. Yes. Yeah. Weidman is fighting. Yes, <laughs> Weidman, Weidman's fighting. Cool. All right. On that note, take it away. We look forward to hearing your tunes. Awesome. Here is that any crisis. And if you want to introduce the songs and replay them, great. Yeah, for sure. All right. This first song is called Empty. It's available on Radio Insect Records off of my latest album, I Hate the F Word. You can find it on Apple Music, Spotify, Pandora, etc. Check it out. Go big or go home has always been my mentality. It's probably why I'm bordering on insanity. I've driven so far that my tank's on empty. The quest for the holy grail sticking so much out of me. Building bridges to my castle got no enemies. I'm trying to build a throne with the white gold canopy. The knights of my round table, platinum plaques in a piece. Cursed with desire to chase for things out of reach. Silly dreamers got me chasing my tail. It's designed in such a way that 98% fail. Still I go ahead until the stormy ocean I sail. Till I end up in the bellies of piranhas and whales. The paper chasing Got me out of rest swimming at that time So I'm gonna drip out this jet Maybe I should just go to bed and rest my head and end up dead But I really need to make the cheddar And the bacon and the bread, son Because the animals Don't believe in Santa Claus Seeking fortune and applause Let me so empty Fire cannonballs Into monstrous waterfalls Seeking fortune and applause Let me so empty Monsoon season, water in my lungs are barely breathing. Pepper in my nasal cavities got me sneezing. Pain from my toes to my gums is like I'm teething. Pressing forward on this journey, don't stop believing. Now I'm searching high and low to find a reason. Cause somewhere along the line, I think I lost the feeling. Onwards and upwards, obsession with achieving. Success likes to kiss upon my neck, she's only teasing. Circulation's cutting off, but I'm still bleeding. Eyes up in the world, trying to do my daily reading. Surrounded by gators and sharks, but I'm feeding. Filling up my schedule, the devil wants. Wants a meeting, struggling to meet the ends, even though I'm stealing. Every show I play, I rearrange the seating. But my sleep pocket ace is always dealing. Head up in the clouds when I should be kneeling. Because the animals, they don't believe in Santa Claus. Seeking fortune and applause left me so empty. Fire cannonballs into monstrous waterfalls. Seeking fortune and applause left me so empty. I'm in search of what's been lost Trying to calculate the cost Blood so cold it's turned to frost Can you please connect the dots? 
Because the animals don't believe in Santa Claus Seeing fortune and applause left me so empty Fire cannonballs into monstrous waterfalls Seeing fortune and applause left me so empty I'm trying to fill the void There's no substitution for the noise Yes, I'm trying to fill the void There's no substitution for the noise All right, this next one is called Weighted off of my very first album, Record of the Year. Again, on Radio Insect Records, you can find this on iTunes, Apple Music, Spotify, etc. When you're around it Hasn't changed in years I still walk away from you With a smile from ear to ear My heart still beats Two times the speed Whenever you are near But losing what we have As friends was always our big fear This is my soul to the girl I've always wanted My song to the girl I've always wanted What a way to for you What a way to for you What a way to for you Are you at the new set? What a way to for you What a way to for you What a way to for you Are you at the new set? What a way to for you What a way to for you What a way to for you Are you at the new set? What a way to for you What a way to for you what a way to fall you, all you have to do is say Uh-oh I lose all track of time whenever we're together There's something about you that always has me feeling better your eyes, your lips, your hair, your smile A picture of perfection It's weird how I still feel the same Despite natural progression This is my song to the girl I've always wanted This is my song to the girl I've always wanted What a way to be you what a way to for you, what a way to for you, all you have to do is say What a way to for you, what a way to for you, what a way to for you, all you have to do is say What a way to for you, what a way to for you, what a way to for you, all you have to do is say What a way to for you, what a way to for you, what a way to for you, all you have to do is say
theidentitycrisis.com. Check it out.